Human of Gigabytes, I am Paulina Lala, Pauli Physics, and this week I want to share with you my experience in the Volkhochschule. Everyone can decide where to study, but I want to share my experience with you in order to give you more options to consider. The first cool thing about the Volkhochschule is the price. It is actually quite economic and this intensive course gives you a lot of information in a very short period of time. It is actually quite good. For people who need to advance quickly and get a certificate, this might be the best option because you really work hard three hours and a half every day and at the end you can get your certificate. I think you go first for the B1. Personally, I think I need a bit more time to actually understand everything, reflect on the subjects, look through the materials, practice, and then actually learn, not just for the exam, but for real. The book for the course is quite uh, economic. There are two, the Artbyte book, the, the workbook, and the course book. So normally you use these two. We have other sheets, other paper to practice, to do some exercises. But in general, the teachers use this book as the framework and the guide for the whole course. As you can see, it has Cersei Lannister or a cousin or, or some cousin of Cersei Lannister in the cover. Uh, no, but for real, these are really good books, not expensive, 20 euros tops, and you can get them in a lot of different shops and uh, bookstores in Germany. I am happily studying at the Volkhochschule Neukölln. This is really close to Bodenstrasse uh, station, and actually I have to say that the building from the outside is nothing beautiful. I might even say it's a little bit ugly. But once inside the classroom, the facilities are really good, spacious, clean. Uh, we have a computer with internet, so some teachers sometimes show us um, news and extra things that they can find online to make the course a little bit more interesting. Can you make friends in the Full Hochschule Deutsch course? Yes, it could be, but I would say it depends a lot. If you spend the whole time with them, let's say several courses, not just one, because one is just a month, might just run really quickly and you might not have enough time. There is a chance, but I would say that it always depends on you, on the other person, how much they are willing to interact. There will be a lot of international people. Some of them might speak English, most of them, and you will be able to do this. I would always say it depends on the culture and how you put an effort and the other person is willing to make an effort as well and it is a chance but I would say that it's not the only place where you should find other friends and new people. Is it a good place to learn? I would say yes. It's really fast. You really have to make an effort outside of the class. You have to study, you have to try to practice German, just find ways to, to do it, to practice what you learn because it's sometimes it feels it's not enough. It's just so fast and then it's subject, 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 vocabulary, 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 grammar, grammar, grammar. So you might get a little bit uh, anguished if you don't um, do something else with it and try to practice and make it part of your life. I have three teachers and they are quite different from one another. The first one is actually quite uh, from a school type. She speaks to us slowly, she brings some dynamics, some games. The second one is not loud at all. She actually speaks really quietly. You have to pick up, really pay attention to never lose anything. And the third one is really quick. She's like, go, 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 go. And then you have to really pay attention. She sometimes tries to translate just a word maybe or two and the good thing is that you can practice and learn make the most of them of how the personalities and their learning styles are so that's a really good thing as well so you get used to different accents and different ways to speak are you already learning german please let me know in the comments how has been your experience so far if you have been in a Volkhochschule, also let me know how it was i would love to know more and please give us any good tips so we can keep learning Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have liked it, my dear humanoid gigabyte. And I wish you good learning and marvelous summer. And please, if you haven't done it, subscribe to the channel. Some things that are good that I would like to say is find a Volkhochschule more or less nearby, close by to where you live. Uh, study on your own. If you have German friends, try to talk to them. If it's your partner, better, just um, do it. And well, let's do this. Let's hope I can start making German videos at some point. All right, my human gigabytes. I am Paulina Lara, Pauli Physics, and I see you next week. Cheers. Volkshochschule. 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 
folks hochschule 